Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Here we go. And we're here. Let me get a little sip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, let me do my little intro. It's been a while. I might be a little rusty. I'm Kay, and I am your style bestie, helping you master confidence through style, fashion, and beauty. Period. We gotta catch up, girl. Let's catch up. Okay, it's been a few weeks. Maybe like a month or so. I know, I know, I know. Don't come for me. When I tell you why I've been gone, you'll feel a little bit better. So let's catch up. It's holiday season now, okay? We're here. It's that time. And your girl's been blessed, okay? God is so good to me. Um, this is the busiest fourth quarter I've ever had. And I am so grateful. So many partnerships. I told my manager, like, not for the month of October. We can't take nothing else. Nothing else. I mean, the books are still open for November and December, though. <laughs> okay, just in case any brands are watching, the books are still open. Okay? <laughs> but anyway, on a more serious note, I'm just so grateful. And I want to say thank you because y'all are just the most amazing. And God has really shown me that in so many different ways. So I partnerships, promotion at work. Had my first brand trip with Macy's to Chicago and that was a time. We had a time in Chicago and I must say the girls in Chicago show so much support and love, like genuine support and love. I literally can't wait to go back. I can't wait to go back. The, 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 the black girls in Chicago surely know how to make you feel loved. I mean, I was in literal tears on the way back from Chicago because I was just so overwhelmed, so overwhelmed with just the sheer amount of positive words and encouragement and just at a time I really, really, really needed to hear it because I was having a little bit of imposter syndrome. But on to other things, so many blessings. So with that said, I wish I would complain to anyone who's feeling overwhelmed especially like my moms my working moms like if you are feeling overwhelmed and you are feeling like your plate is full number one a full plate is better than an empty one hallelujah amen i hope you received that i really had to think to myself like girl this is what you wanted this is what you prayed for and this is just the problem with the promise like to whom much is given much is required like heavy is the head that wears the crown whatever else you want to say this is what comes with it I really had to like chin check myself <laughs> chin up chest out <laughs> anyway again if you are feeling overwhelmed and you just have a lot on your plate it's okay take a nap reorganize re-strategize and let's get to the back period period another installment of how K styled it okay so as I've been going through my fall and winter wardrobe and I'm prepping for the new season I'm looking through my closet and I'm like I gotta fill in some gaps but you know as you are filling in some gaps you kind of stumble across some items you wasn't even looking for but that you can't leave behind you just gotta get them right and I don't deny myself anything so let's be irresponsible together we see each other. <laughs> so that is going to lead me into the very first item that I got that I didn't need, but I couldn't leave it behind. And that's this Zara jumpsuit. Okay. Um, I already have two jumpsuits. I have one similar that's from Zara and I have one from Mango that doesn't look like either one, but it was on sale for $45 and I was like, let me at least try it on see what it's given because the color was giving me like a gray and I'm kind of into gray denim now so I tried it on and it was bomb I absolutely love like how it almost gives this structured shoulder look so I got that and it was on sale for $45 I when I tell you I literally had everybody in that fitting room going to snatch them things up off that rack Every girl in the fitting room was like, oh, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. I'm getting that. <laughs> it was sisterhood of the traveling jumpsuit. Okay. I I'm being for real. 
lots of girl power was happening in the fitting room. But I got the jumpsuit and I got it in a size extra large. I always have to size up in jumpsuits. Any type of one piece situation, I always size up. And if I gotta get it altered, then that's just what I have to do. And so I wanna show you how I styled it. And I wanted to keep how I styled it uh, fairly simple because the jumpsuit is enough. It is enough. The last thing that you wanna do is look like you're trying too hard. We don't do that over here. <laughs> we don't have to try, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but anyway, um, so I decided to keep it simple. And I decided to wear um, these booties from Nine West. Well, they're by Nine West from Macy's. And they're perfect because they do have a little bit of metallic on the heel. So that gives a little extra, little extra detail. And those details do matter. It doesn't matter how simple or modest you like to dress. Those little details do matter. So I paired it with these booties. I think in real life, I would rather wear my patent leather um, boots, but my husband wasn't home at the time to help me take them off. They're not easy to get off. So that's why I did the Nine West boots, but either one looks great. The patent leather boots would add a little bit of extra texture and give a little bit of more, a little bit more detail. So I also decided to pair, I also decided to wear this bag. It is the Speak Life bag and it is by Chloe Modhouse. It is black owned, woman owned and I love this bag. It's almost like that bowling bag um, type of thing, but I wanted to wear it with something pretty simple so that the bag itself could stick out because it does make a statement all on its own. The sunglasses I'm wearing are 1989 eyewear. They have some really cool eyewear. I have several pairs of shades from them and they're really great quality. So shout out to them. These have a green tint and then it has the gold um, rim or the gold frame and it's got like a black frame as well. So it's like gold and black and I really love that how it's like the mixed material. So I thought it went great with this outfit. The green tint I think added to the gray in the jumpsuit. Number two, item number two. I didn't need, but I got it. Cause I need another bomber jacket. Like I need a hole in the head. But anyway, I don't necessarily have a bomber jacket like this one. This one is far more casual. And the other ones I have are a little more luxe. So this one is given more of like a varsity jacket style. It's that wool material. It's like a heather cream type material. It's cream off white. Um, but it's got like some like gray specs in it which I really liked and it, it really caught my eye and how cropped it was is what caught my eye as well. Um, so I paired that how I decided to style that bomber is with a pair of dad jeans. These are my favorite dad jeans. They're my favorite jeans actually. Um, they're by Topshop and I got them from Nordstrom. They're petite and it, I'm not petite. I'm 5'6". Um, so they aren't super long on me but they're they're good. They're good. So when wearing these jeans shoes matter in the summer i can wear sandals and they like nobody can tell they're kind of short but when i'm wearing sneakers or boots with these jeans i have to be careful because my pants will give high water so therefore i decided to wear my jordan ones and not my gazelles because the jordan one is high top and i felt like the brown in my jordan ones um kind of went well with the bomber because keeping with the earth tones so keeping with the earth tones i decided to go ahead with a brown pair of sunglasses and these are my elisa johnson sunglasses these are in the style called jane if you like aviators you want a pair of jane aviators by elisa johnson if you don't know elisa johnson is magic johnson's daughter and she has made a name all for herself, all by herself. Her sunglasses are some of my favorite. They are very high quality. I have three pair, three different colors. She actually just came out with a pair of white Janes. You already know I'm getting them. I just need to pace myself. So I decided to do these Jane Aviators by Elisa Johnson because they're very like fall, but they're also kind of sporty and casual. So they paired well with the bomber. Um, and even the tint in my jeans goes well with all of this is given that earth tone brown type of vibe. Um, and then I decided to go ahead and throw on a my YSL Toy Lulu crossbody. I absolutely love this crossbody. I don't care what anybody says. I'm a crossbody girl. Okay. I also love mini bags, but this crossbody is extremely practical. It fits 
any and everything and it's not too big or bulky and the leather really holds up really well because I've had it for years I bought it pre-loved on Fashion File I would buy this bag again and again and again and again and again but I decided to throw a gray bag on not like to be typical and do gold if I had a like caramel type of leather um, or cognac leather bag which I and on the hunt for that I would have worn that but I didn't want to wear like a gold bag I didn't want to wear my like chocolate brown leather bag I thought that was just too typical and like too expected so now on to item number three y'all this one y'all okay so I was in H&M and I came across this what appeared like a blazer dress and I'm gonna pop a video of me trying it on as a blazer dress it definitely is like the length of a dress um but i was extremely impressed with the quality and the detail of this blazer the seams were great it gave a good hourglass shape i mean it's the the fabric is so high quality and it was 65 dollars it might have been $67. But like I I pay about $100 or more for a good structured blazer. So for the price, the the price is actually too low, to be honest. The price is too low. Um, I would pay $100 for this blazer for sure. Um, so it was like a, a blazer dress and I was very conflicted because I did not want to leave it. Because, you know, sometimes it's not about like, do I need this or where am I going to wear it to? Sometimes it's like, I look damn good in this I look damn good in this and I would be hurting this outfit's feelings if I did not wear this on my body. I would be doing this blazer a dis a, an injustice, a disservice if I don't wear it on this here silhouette. <laughs> like so I was very conflicted and I was going to leave it. But then I scanned it to see like what does it look like on the model. Maybe I'll order it later. It sold out except for like in one size. But when I saw it on the model, it's advertised as a blazer, not a blazer dress. And that got me thinking. It did fit kind of like roomy. So all they had left were smalls. I tried on the large as a blazer dress. I tried on the large and I was like, maybe I'll get it and get like the waist even like pinched even more. Something says, go try on the small. I go try on the small because I'm like, maybe I could just wear this as a blazer and not as a blazer dress. Try on the small. God nab it if it didn't fit me like a dream. So I bought it. <laughs> That's just, I always got a story behind, like an, a piece. <laughs> but so I bought it and I absolutely love it. If you saw my... Maybe it was my second video. Third video? I don't remember. I did a video on like fall purchases and must-haves. And one of the things that I said I was on the hunt for was an hourglass shaped blazer. I was willing to invest in the Frankie Shop one. But God said, save your money, baby. I got something better. Now, I don't know if this is better than the Frankie Shop one. I'm pretty sure the Frankie Shop one is magnificent. But this one was at a better price point and it is extremely great quality so I'm so glad that I got it and I styled it a couple ways for y'all okay so I styled this blazer with my silver metallic Zara jeans now I love me some jeans and I love me a blazer okay and I feel like this blazer was made to wear with these jeans oh my gosh so I wore it with the Zara metallic jeans that I've shown you in previous videos um, and I wore it with the Skims crop. I love these Skims crops. I have like four of them, but I don't think that's how I would actually wear it. Um, I really wanted to wear a high neck short sleeve um, bodysuit. And I just bought a really nice one, a seamless one from Pumi. Um, Pumi, I guess that's how you say it. They're from Amazon, but that I would have worn with this, but it's an, it's an washing machine. Or I would have worn one of those Target seamless crops because they're not that cropped. What I'm trying to get at is that I'm not really trying to show body. Like, I'm not trying to show skin, but that was just what I could grab in the moment. And then this hat, 
that I'm wearing right now is kind of like a tweed and it has a little bit of sheen to it. It's very similar to the RB hats. I think it's Rulin Brinsky, but I don't know how to say it, okay? Um, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, and when I saw this hat, I thought the structure of it was great. I thought the structure of it was excellent. So I paired it with this because I said on my Instagram that my style this fall, I'm trying to give round the way Hillary Banks. Like Hillary Banks meets Mary J. Blige. That's what I'm trying to get. Like round the way girl, but polished. So that's what I'm trying to give. Uh, so I've been buying like really cute cardigans and jackets that kind of give that like Chanel vibe. Um, and this hat kind of does that for me a little bit. So started with the metallic jeans, the hat, and in real life, I would have done my patent leather Zara boots because that extra little texture, that extra little detail, I think would set the outfit off given that I'm just wearing a solid blazer and I'm just wearing a black hat. And of course the jeans do stand out and make a statement, but that patent leather boot um, would be really good because you barely can see them um, peeking out of the jeans. But anyway, but just for the sake of the video, I wore my shoots wedge booty, which serves the purpose. Okay, I love those boots. I wear them down to the ground. <laughs> but that's what I did for the purpose of the video. Um, and then if I'm wearing the hat, I'm not wearing any sunglasses. Without the hat, I would wear my vault label sunglasses, the silver ones, because they're almost clear. So I'm not taking away from the outfit at all. I'm just adding just a really cute little detail by wearing that transparent lens. And then transparent lenses are like such a vibe. The bag I wore is, I did, I did a double negative, okay? I did wear a metallic bag because I just could not, not wear this bag. And I think even though I'm wearing two metallic items, it's enough. It, I could do it. I could pull it off. Everybody else can't, but I can't. Okay. All right. But, so that's what I decided to do in this bag is a Bottega Jody dupe um, and it is by the vault label it is genuine leather so I absolutely love it it fits so much I went ahead and ordered it and it go mm, mm. don't judge me because I feel like you are I feel like I can feel it I can sense it mm -hmm. don't don't judge me mm-mm mm-mm the next item <laughs> is this Zara sweater. Um, I actually saw someone else in this sweater and was like, ooh, girl, get it now. I was already on a hunt for like a really big cozy cardigan, but I was looking in the men's section and I hadn't found anything yet because I have like a, I call it a grandma, I call it a grandpa sweater. I have a grandpa sweater from Zara that I got like two years ago that I absolutely love. I get so many compliments on it. It's great, um, but I wanted something a little more updated, something that like kind of gave like Acne Studios or um, Urban Outfitters, like something kind of edgy, something like a really fashionable, edgy guy would wear. And then I wanted to make it a little more feminine um, and wear it with a mini skirt. So that's what I did. So I paired this Zara sweater, which is actually from the women's section. It's a size medium large. And I paired it with a denim skirt that is also from Zara. It's like a deconstructed denim skirt. Um, I think a pleated skirt would have been a little too expected, even though I still will wear it with a pleated skirt. Um, I think I can also wear this with nothing underneath, like just some shorts so that you don't see my hoo-ha. And then I put on my Steve Madden cognac boots. I've had these for years. They last for years. Um, when I originally bought this sweater, I knew I was gonna wear it with those boots. So it, it, this is a prime example of when an outfit in your head really comes to fruition and it just slaps. This one, I, mm, I was feeling myself. You feeling it too, I know. I can feel it through the screen, yeah. Um, it's, but the thing is, I didn't know what sunglasses to wear. So I didn't know if I should wear my Free People sunglasses, which I think are my top pick because they're transparent and they have like a little green tint to them which brings out the green in the sweater and then of course the gold rim because I'm wearing like warmer colors with the brown and the orange just in the sweater um those were my top pick 
But then I was like, oh, I really want to wear these vault label like Tom Ford dupes. And those were giving. <laughs> those were definitely giving for sure. Those were giving. It, mm, mm. Sometimes it's, it's cool to be modest and it's cool to be simple. And sometimes you just got to be extra as hell. Sometimes you just got to give them extra guac, okay? And charge them double because you just got to do what you got to do. And I'm fine being that girl that comes to do what needs to be done. I never fail. Every time I show up, I deliver. Extra credit, check. <laughs> but anyway, so I was really feeling myself. I don't think I even paired a bag with it. I was feeling it so much. Then I was like, well, I have some other shades that are like brown, bronzy. And I think those were a little too much. So, yeah. Um, I actually think I'm going to wear this outfit to the winery soon. I actually think I'm going to plan a family trip to the winery. Like a really nice one. Just so I can wear this outfit and they can take my pictures. <laughs> Call me vain. I don't care. I like beautiful things. Because I'm a beautiful thing. Mm. Now, I'm going to say I saved the last item. The best for last not just the best item but the best how k style this item because i actually was stumped on how to style this item i just knew that i wanted the item okay last item are these zara metallic boots they be baby they are everything they do fit true to size but i'm not gonna lie to you the calves are very narrow and I personally have really skinny, like abnormally skinny calves. So I never have a problem with um, boots fitting my calves, but mine just fit. So <laughs> proceed with caution if you get these boots, but the boots are good. They are very comfortable too. Very comfortable. They kind of give like a Western vibe. They're very reminiscent of a Steve Madden metallic boot I posted last year. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, I also posted an over the knee, like almost thigh high silver metallic boot that I got from Steve Madden. And yes, I bought two pairs of silver boots. No, I'm not returning either one. They both serve different purposes. Boom. That is what I told myself in the mirror to justify the purchase. <laughs> but anyway, um... So the boots, I was so stumped on like how to wear them. Everything I was picking out was kind of like typical. Kind of like just like, duh. Sometimes your first choice or your first instinct is not the right one because that's what people expect. And I got to keep you guessing. Got to keep you on your toes, you know? <laughs> Yo, I crack myself up. I think it's the only child in me. I used to have to entertain myself. Hmm. I shouldn't have said that out loud. Mm. <laughs> So anyway, I wore them with um, this vinyl skirt because when in doubt, texture. Add some extra texture. Um, so, and the whole boot needed to be seen. It needed to be seen. And I didn't have, like, if I had, like, just a, a really good sweater dress, a mini sweater dress, that would be great with these. But I don't have one of those. So I pulled out this old vinyl skirt that I have from ASOS. It's like an oxblood burgundy color. It's very cute. Um, and I also wore, I didn't want to do too much because now I got the silver and I got the vinyl. So now everything else got to be, you got to, you got to keep it, you got to keep it down here. Okay. Because you already started here. You, you got to, everything else got to be a little mid. Okay. Um, so I decided to pair it with this sheer top. Um, this one is from Forever 21. It's actually quite old, but. And it's long, like a dress almost. But if you want a sheer over shirt, button up shirt, Shop Icon. I have a white one from them. Really great quality. Very long. Great to like throw over something. So because I was wearing a mini skirt and I don't know, I, I was feeling a little mm, about like that inner thigh being out. Just being like super exposed. So that's why I threw this over shirt on because it's long. So it kind of helped me feel a little covered and it's sheer. So, but it didn't feel like I was wearing too many clothes because it's sheer. So it's like you can see through it, but you're also covered at the same time. So skin, no skin, like this illusion of showing skin. And then I was going to leave it like that. And I threw this hat on with it. 
and I was going to leave it because I felt like I needed some extra volume up here somewhere. And something said, put the blazer on. Go get that cute ass blazer you just got. And look at how it all came together. So this was like probably my favorite. I I, this between this and the cardigan look were my two favorites so that did the vinyl skirt the sheer top the hat silver boots that are just mwah, chef's kiss and I did add the Jody dupe the metallic bag from the vault label of yeah again I am doing two metallic like I'm doing metallic metallic it's fine I could pull it off so <laughs> now what <laughs> so yeah I, I mean i wouldn't typically advise people to do that because I, I i don't think many people are comfortable wearing silver 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 the, you know the all that shine 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 um but i don't mind i don't mind doing the most that's how i styled that and again with the hat no sunglasses because it's just too much going those are five items that i purchased well, actually that's six because of the hat, I think. Yeah, six items I purchased and how I styled them. I actually had a lot of fun styling these items. I don't feel like I had to try super hard, which is just lets me know it confirms that I bought the right items. So when I'm shopping or I'm buying anything, I use the rule of three. The rule of three. The rule of three is I can wear this item or style this item three different ways. I can wear it on three different occasions or three different places. So church, work, outside, whatever, brunch, dinner date, girls night, three different places or occasions. And it will translate through at least three seasons. If it meets my rule of three, it's going home with me. Hallelujah. Amen. That concludes today's installment of How K Style Dad. I hope you enjoyed this. Click that subscribe button, come back, see me, but follow me on all platforms, guys. Please, Instagram is where I'm the most active. Pinterest, TikTok, come on, we get active over here, okay? Okay, we in motion. We in motion, the motion don't stop. <laughs> so even if I don't have an upload on YouTube, I guarantee you I got about six uploads in all the other places. You don't want to miss what's coming next. Trust me, because I've already pre-recorded it. But with that said, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining this girl gang. Tell your friends. Tell them come. Because we be having fun over here and we look cute. <laughs> but I hope that you all are finding all the things for fall. Because dressing for fall is so much fun. I hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.